Hello everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Create Mod. Now, this is actually the second attempt at trying to record this video, simply because I was ori I originally had gone to the nether, and in the nether, although I was looking for another fortress, I came across bastions and it tempted me. And I was trying to be very smart about it, and I tried using the rope pulley to lo like lower down a platform with some sticky bits on it to raise up the chest out of the top of the bastion. But I ended up falling and dying and losing everything twice. So after losing everything and spending a lot of time going back down into the deep caves and gearing back up, we got some gear again. And the objective hasn't changed. We still need to go to the nether because we need to make brass. And brass requires the use of blaze burners. And although we can get the empty blaze burners pretty easily, they're useless without a blaze inside of them. So we need to find a nether fortress and capture a blaze. So let us return to the nether and try again. And here we are, back to our unfavorable nether spot. Aha, I almost just completely skipped over it. We have found ourselves another fortress. And luckily, I now have a direct tunnel to and from the nether portal. So now the only question is how to get down. So we should be able to bridge over to this tree here and then I can connect up the bridge like so. We should be able to just build a little staircase down into it. I'm not very fond of these crimson forests, especially because of the, the hoglins that spawn in them, but it will do. Aha, a terrible fortress. Let's see what this terrible fortress has to offer. Oh, here we go. One, two, Oh, retreat, retreat. All right. Want to heal up a little bit. Now the fortresses are not fun. Unlike, so in Bastions, you're gonna, you're gonna get shot, like hit real easily with strong hits. But here is where the status effects really get you. Because it's possible to get withered and set on fire at the same time. And that is not a fun combination. All right, we got two blaze rods so far. But we might as well grab a few more while we're here. I don't hear any wither skeletons yet. All right, three blaze rods should be enough to get us started. At least it's enough to allow us to make a brewing stand and brew some potions. All right, this is a dangerous situation. Okay, good, they're hunting the hoglin, not me. I am wearing gold. Yes, I did make sure to equip some gold armor. Were they hunting the skeleton? Oh, they are, that's interesting. I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring of the nether fortress before I leave to see if we can find any other goodies. God, these blazes are just annoying. They keep poking through this barricade I'm building. Oh, it looks like we found a chest. Doesn't look like there's anything too useful though. Ooh, a diamond, I'll take that. All right, we might as well quit while we're ahead and since we have the rods and the blaze burners. So let's ski daddle. So now we should be able to head back to the world and start making some brass. All right, so here is the basic setup for mixing things. Now we are going to make brass, which is made of copper and zinc, and we alloy them using a mixing basin. But if you see here, it needs to be heated. But our blaze does not look like that blaze that we need. All you have to do, right click it with a little bit of coal. And now it's heated. And while it is heated, you can throw in copper and zinc and then give it some energy. And after a little bit of waiting, we have brass. Now brass is very useful. Not only does it allow us to start manipulating things using bigger stack sizes through the use of brass tunnels and brass funnels, but it also allows us to create some more advanced machinery using Create, like the flywheel, the furnace engine, mechanical crafters. So if we just throw all of our zinc and copper in here and make some alloys. Now after a bit of mixing, we now have 46 brass ingots. And the first thing we're gonna make with brass is a brass. Now without changing any of the layouts with these brass tunnels, we can already improve the inf efficiency of some of our automated systems. Like if we replace these andesite tunnels, which can currently only receive and drop one item and replace them with brass tunnels or not tunnels but shoots and then we can scroll on this filter to let's say about 32 now these funnels will drop 32 items of a stack at once and they'll be there and they should all get cooked up 
since we have this extra little runway of space here, all 32 should be cooked up nice and good by the time they reach the, the opposite tunnel. So let's see. I can't really see it. There's a bit of a graphical bug going on here, but I think they are done. And would you look at that? 32 pieces of stone cooked at once. So now we can drop items in bulk to improve our blast furnace here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later.